Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the 4x4 Fab Shop. And today we're going to talk tube notching. Whether you've got a bunch of tubes to do and more of a production format, how would you do that? And if you just got one or two tubes you want to, you need to notch and you're going to weld up for a project, maybe it's not worth going out and buying an actual tube notcher. Well, I'll show you some ways to do that also. Alright, so let's dive in. Alright, so first off we have our standard tube notcher. It just takes a hole saw. And this isn't a very expensive one. This is a Harbor Freight model. You know, so obviously not that expensive. So if you have multiple tubes you have to notch all the same angle, you know, this is a pretty nice way to go. You just tighten in the clamp and we'll do one here in a little bit. So if there's multiple, this is a great way to do it. So another option is there's some websites out there that you can tell it what diameter or tube you have what angle you have and it'll print you out paper templates that you just cut out and you cut now one thing to keep an eye on when you're printing these templates out make sure your make sure your printer is set to 100 percent scale if it's scale to fit you can see the difference same printout scale is 100 scale to fit you can always double check the circumference of your tube and just measure it off that way as well. And then well, these even give you a, a reference number there, what, roughly what it should measure. All right, so for this, I'm just going to put a piece of tape on it. And these templates are pretty neat. It tells you the actual tube diameter, your wall section, the tube you're going to mate it to, and the angle. All right, and as a quick check, as you wrap it around, it should meet. Line up our template. And from here, we're just going to trace it out. So there's what we have to cut out. You can save this template. If you got one or two, this is an ideal way to go. And if you get if you do a lot of these, you'll quickly learn how to do this without all the templates as well. I'm gonna come over here and grab one of my cutoff wheels. I like these recessed cutoff wheels. And we're just gonna use a small die grinder. We'll get it roughed out with this. And we'll put the flap disc back in. Check it just by setting it on a tube. So we set it on a tube and see how we're hitting. Looks like we got to take a little bit out of here on the very root of it. I think we'll be there. Put them a little bit off the edges there. our tube and we're ready for welding now I'm going to cut this one on the notcher it's kind of an unfair example so I'm going to use one third diameter so which is about half inch if you've only got one piece of tubing to cut notching it by hand is the way to go but if you've if you've got multiple then a tube notcher like this is, is the route to go.
and notch versus machine. Now if you have a lot of tubes to do, obviously the fixture will get you there faster. If you don't have many, but one or two, hand notch them. Much easier. All you'll need is a cutoff wheel and a flap disc. Right, so that was just uh, coping tubes. So we have the hand cope tube here and the machine cope tube. And you got to have a pretty tight fit up on those. Otherwise, when you're TIG welding, well, it shows pretty quick if you got a stitch. I'll leave a link for these templates and make sure you're printing these 100% scale or one to one scale. Because I had a little bit of an issue at first printing these out and it was scale to fit. And when you wrapped around the tube, you had a big gap. So make sure that when you print, you can also check, figure your conference. Uh, you can get a length, and if it's not the right length, well, you know it's wrong as well. But the minute you wrap it around the tube, you'll see it. And the nice thing about these uh, web page, and I'll leave a link in the descriptions, is that if you have different diameter tubes, if there are different angles, you can print those as well. If you have a bunch of tubes to notch, set up the tube notcher, and let's say do all your 90s on that and the one or two angles you've got, hand trim them. It's not that hard. Once you get used to it, it, it goes pretty quick. The biggest thing is your fit up. Just make sure you got a good fit up and you'll be good to go. You get a little bit more leeway if you're MIG welding versus TIG welding, but either way, you, you want good fit up. And if you need some help with welding, I'll leave a link here and I'll see you on that one. And if you need some help with two bending, I'll see you in this one. Please remember to subscribe and share the channel. It's new. You know, we have two channels. We have this 4x4 Fab Shop and we have Jeeping Mo where we do a lot of, a lot of trails and travel on our Jeep. And we also do some fabrication and for the Jeep world and 4x4 world as well. So if nothing else, I'll leave a card that pops up here and I'll see you in that. So until the next project, I'll see you then.